Um, uh, hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome back uh, to West Parks, obviously. Uh, we got another game of 8th for you today. We are very excited. It's the first game of West Parks Gaming versus the viewers. Uh, we've been contacted by Ben, lives locally, and fancied a game. So we've invited him over, and uh, we're going to play some Deadlock today. It's the mission we're playing. So you start with six objectives, progress down through the th progressing through the turns. The maximum number of objectives goes down. So turn two, you're allowed a maximum of five. Turn three, a maximum of four, etc. Uh, as you can see from the deployment zones that are being set up by my glamorous assistant, uh, Will, <laughs> um, we're playing Vanguard Strike as the deployment zone from this corner over into that corner over there. Objective-wise, we have number six in the building down here. We have number three in the woods towards the centre of the table. Number five, roughly slap bang in the middle. Number four in the building down here. Number two in those barricades. And number one is back over this side on top of the building. Uh, now, something I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the game, or beginning of this video, is I'm bringing Admech. <laughs> and I'm playing against Eldar, a very nice looking Eldar army over there. And we are playing 2,000 points. Um, I'm using the Codex, I'm running Mars, I've got Belisarius Call um, as my Warlord, and uh, yeah, be very interesting to see how it goes. So without any further ado and no more waffling from me, uh, let's have a look at the armies. Okay, here is 2,000 points of Adeptus Mechanicus running the Mars Forge World, as you can probably tell from call in the middle. Uh, it's a single battalion detachment with a super heavy auxiliary in the shape of the knight in the corner. So running through what we've got, as HQs we've got Belisarius Call, obviously. Uh, we have a Tech Priest Dominus with Volkite Blaster and the Foss Phoenix. And we have a Tech Priest Engine Seer just as they come. Troops-wise, we've got a 10-man squad of Vanguard with three Plasma Calivers and the... Um, uh, what's he called? Alpha has an, uh, a, a Taser Goad. Words in there somewhere. Uh, a five-man Ranger squad with two Transuranic Arquabi, Arquabuses and an Omnispex. Three destroyers with heavy grav cannons and phosphor blasters, and five more vanguard with two arc rifles, and the alpha has an arc pistol and arc maul. Fast attack, five uh, infiltrators with the princeps having the power sword and uh, macro stubber, and the rest having taser goads and flechette blasters. Exactly the same over here, uh, with the same combination of weapons. Heavy support, we've got an onager with a neutron laser, Cognis Heavy Stubber under the barrel and an additional Cognis Heavy Stubber. Same again here, they've both got broad spectrum data tethers. And the knight is a warden with the Gatling Cannon, Thunderstrike Gauntlet, Melter Gun and the Heavy Flamer in there. So that's that, 2000 points of Admech, uh, 6 command points, should be good fun. Okay, and uh, here we have 2,000 points of Alatok Eldar, or Eldari, or yeah. Asuriani, or whatever they're called these days. Um, it is a brigade detachment, so 12 command points. Um, and let's have a bit of a closer look. Okay, so let's start down here. We'll go through HQs and we'll go through the little areas that they're in. So this is... Uh, is it Illic Knight Spear? Yep. Um, Cheapest age. In there. Okie dokie. Looks like he's a sniper of some description. Yep. Uh, with five rangers. Yep. Okay. Uh, five okay. Dire Avengers there. Exarch has the two Shuriken Catapults. You have to forgive me, I'm not an Eldar player, so I'm just it's, it's attempting to make it up. Mm -hmm. Attempting to work it out. Uh, four Windrider Jet Bikes with one Shuriken Catapult. Cannon, yep. beg your pardon, Shuriken Cannon. Ten Guardians 
with a Bright Lance weapon platform. Yes. Excellent. At the back we have a... Oh, I've forgotten what that guy is. Spirit Seer. Spirit Seer, marvellous. Uh, oh, there's my light falling off the table. Uh, with five Wraith Guard. Is that D Cannons or D Scythes? D Cannons. D -cannons. Wraith, Wraith Cannons. Wraith Cannons. Uh, in a Wave Serpent with a Shuriken Cannon, two Scatter Lasers. Yeah, and everything else you can buy for it. And everything else. So all the different types of engines yeah. and some kind of stone. Exactly. It needs to move quick. Okay, cool. Uh, at the back, we've got five Warp Spiders. Yep, talking about moving quickly. <laughs> Just in front of them, five uh, Striking Scorpions. Exiles with the Biting Blade. Okay, is the chap at the front? Yep. Uh, at the back, five Swooping Hawks, one of which is the Exarch with yep. the Sun Rifle. I think that's the guy with the slightly bigger wings at the back. Just gives you minuses to hit if I manage to shoot you. Oh, marvel, that's just what I need with my terrible ballistic skill. And uh, that's the um, Dark Reapers yep. with the cheap Exarch. Yep, Shuriken Cannon. Yep, or Exarch, however you pronounce it. I'm yeah. never well, sure. No, I know. Two Vibra Cannons for um, the laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> the okay, next, down here. Two groups of five. Dire Avengers. Yep. Just because I had to fill out all those six troop choices to get the ah uh, yes command points. No exarchs in those or exarches in those. Right, just as they come. Yeah. Cool. And then some really cheap um, storm guardians. Oh, I've I've, I've, I've not come across these. I remember them fondly from the past. You won't see it for long. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, oh no, not finally. What's this chap? Oh yeah, the wraith. No, that's the wraith lord. Yep. Yep. Used to be a dreadnought. <laughs> with yes. the ghost glaive, is it? Like yep. The big, the big sword and the scatter laser. He's got the flamer and the shuriken catapult. Okay, fantastic. And finally... The fire dragons with the exarch, with the pike, Yep. and the HQ for the whole battle, um, which is the farseer, okay, okay. the spear, and the lesser scene falcon at the back. Oh, the yes. Bright lance scatter laser. Bright lance scatter laser. Oh, okay, so he's got all the engines and the stone yeah. thing as well oh. yes. or whatever it is oh <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> one too many fire yes. dragons okay fantastic so the farsi is the warlord yep um and yeah that's 2000 points of eldar goodness and i'm very interested to see what they do Right, so here we are after deployment. Um, I've mostly forgotten what happened. Um, I chose deployment zone, so Ben deployed first. And we'll go through what he's done, and I'll try and remember what everything is, even though it was only a couple of minutes ago when I last spoke about them. Uh, wave Serpent with uh, Fire Dragons and Farseer in them, in it, rather. Uh, five Dire Avengers. Three Dark Reapers, a Wraith Lord, five Warp Spiders, Warp Spiders is the English word for that, I nearly called them Wave Serpents, uh, two Vibro Cannons, uh, the Dire Avengers at the back, that's the unit with the Exarch, yep. uh, sat on the objective at the back, ten Guardians with the Bright Lance, nine Storm Guardians, uh, four Wind Runners. Wind Riders. Wind Riders. Oh, so close. It's almost perfect. Uh, the Falcon with the Wraith Guard and Spirits here. And five more Dire Avengers down here. Now, after I finished deploying, uh, Illich Nightspear and his scouts popped in uh, into the building in roughly in the middle of the table. And I foolishly, forgetting completely that he had snipers, it's cool, right there. Perfect line of sight for you. Uh, in Deep Strike, you have the Swooping Hawks and the Scorpions. So they will be turning up at some stage. So my deployment, uh, we have the five Vanguard with the Arc Weaponry in here, holding on to Objective 1, just in case I draw that. The ten Vanguard at the front, three Destroyers, uh, call just behind them. The Tech Priest Engine Seer hiding behind the trees and the Knight on the far left. The two onagers at the back and the Rangers on the building here with pretty good line of sight but can't really see any characters. Or can I see... Ooh, I think I can see Illic Knight Spear over there. I'll snipe you back. Uh, and then for me in Deep Strike we've got the two units of Infiltrators. 
So, I currently have first turn, because I finished deploying first. Would you like to seize? Oh, yes. I've got 12 command points, I've got to use it for something. You do? That is very true. So anywhere around here would be lovely. So seize the initiative. Uh, that's a three. Would you like the command point? Okay, I've only got 11 left. Oh, well. <laughs> that is a two. Okay, so Admech turn one, coming up. Okay, that's the end of the movement in turn one for the Admech. Uh, my canticles this turn were... Blessing a Machine Might, which is plus one strength, not overly useful, I don't think. Um, and Benediction of the Omnisire, which is reroll ones to hit for everything affected, which is basically everything apart from the Knight, because I haven't spent the command points to get him affected by the Canticle. Objective-wise, these two are basically non-starters, because Objective 4 is over there, held by the Tire Avengers. Advance is equally not happening because I've got slow stuff all in my deployment zone so I can't get out of it. Secure objective one is there on top of that building so I can score that one. Kill a Psyker, which is a victory for logic, is possible, but I'd need to kill either the Falcon or the Wave Serpent first, which, you know, might, could happen. And defend objective three, oh, sorry about the light on that one. Defend objective three, uh, I need to do, so for that reason, I attempted to advance this squad of Vanguard, but didn't roll high enough, so I've dropped in one unit of infiltrators holding onto that objective for me in there. Uh, with regards to movement, the knights moved around with <laughs> poor little tech priest engine seer running, trying to catch up. Again, rolled abysmally for advance, so he's miles away. Call and the destroyers have just advanced a few inches up the board. The uh, tech priest Dominus has just shimmied a couple of inches and everything else has stayed still. So we'll go into shooting and we'll see if I can kill me a Psyker. Okay, so shooting phase, mixed bag. Uh, I'm happy with some bits and disappointed with myself for not paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. Um, because I forgot that in that Falcon over there are five fire dragons, and they're very close to my knight. And I didn't pay any attention to that at all. Um, so what happened? Oh, I forgot to shoot them, but that doesn't matter because they couldn't have shot anything anyway, really. Uh, the Gravs on the Destroyers killed the Wind Riders that were over there, got me first blood, which was nice. This Onager fired at the closest of the two support batteries that was over there and managed to kill that one. This one put three wounds, I think, on the Falcon. Something like that, I, think, I think I rolled a one, didn't I? So he might have put two wounds on the Falcon. Um, the snipers in here fired at uh, Illic Nightspear in the building over there. Managed to do one wound. Uh, the knight fired its Gatling cannon at the Falcon and did another couple of wounds here. Um, I think Anna stripped a couple of wounds off with the pistols from the infiltrators. Yep, so that was the, the first of the Neutron Onagers that killed that one. So we've got one wound down on Illic in the middle, a dead support battery, a dead wind, run, wind rider unit, and is that how many he's lost? Yes. So how many did you start with? Twelve. Okay, so and a half strength falcon over there. Now, because I'm very scared of fire dragons, I'm going to do something that I probably shouldn't do, because I need the objective point. Uh, nope, I'm not going to do it. That's the end of the turn for me, for Admech. Uh, end of turn one. So I got secure objective one for a point, and I'm halfway through defending objective three, which would be nice. And uh, obviously I got first blood. So I'm going to ditch advance because I'm never going to do that with, or I'm never going to get everything out of my deployment zone. And there's still a possibility I could sneak a unit of infiltrators onto that objective at the back. As, as small a possibility as it is, it still remains a possibility. So, score currently first blood plus one, two points to zero to the Admec. And we're going into Eldar, turn one. I might need your help, Ben, remembering what did what. Uh, so, if we start on this side of the table and we'll move over. So, Dire Avengers. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, let's start on the left, left. Okay. So, the Wave Serpent is yeah. now over there. Uh, was that using vectored engines? Uh, vectored engines gives you the minuses to hit it. This oh, is the, the star, star engines. engines. I think to, to get up yep. to here. With the 2d6 yep. advance. So it was a sweep up to here. Yeah, marvellous. The Wraith Lord. Lord. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
uh, stepped over yep. to try and get a little bit of cover from this lot. Yep, because a neutron laser to the face of that wouldn't be very unpleasant. Uh, this unit of Dire Avengers moved up to surround this objective. Mm -hmm. The uh, Dark Reapers moved, because who cares, they're Dark Reapers. Yep. The Vibro Cannon moved just mm -hmm. to get a shot on the knight. Oh yeah, he's just in range of the knight now. The Guardians popped out along with the weapon platform for yep. the same reason. These Guardian um, uh, Storm Guardians came out to try and support in the middle, mm -hmm. which is going to yep. be bloody. <laughs> this fantastic move. That was crazy. They started started over here somewhere, yeah. Yeah, and just leapt straight into the middle. Yeah. Hopefully that move is going to four D six movement. Uh, four D six plus movement, wasn't it? Yeah. I think you got sixteen or something. You rolled on that. Yeah, plus the yeah. stone, so twenty three inches. Which yeah. Is phenomenal. <laughs> uh, very quickly, these guys didn't move. No, good. They moved. Yep, because they were on the back here. Just Up marched upwards. You'll notice there's a hole where they. Vulcan used uh, to be. Yes, indeed, he was here. It popped over to nice into the nail night. the flag to the mast. Yeah. Easy to see what the intentions are. And then the, the uh, from Deep Strike mm -hmm. came the Swooping Hawks. Yep. And over there lying down and because. They're, in, they're sneaky. They're on the. Yes. Yeah, crawling exactly. in so they, it's yeah. crawling in so you can't be seen. On their stomachs. Yep. <laughs> so the scorpions are coming there. And we've got the Hawks in the back. Right. So very quickly, because I forgot to do it at the beginning, your objectives were secure objective four. Oh, bugger. Right. Is he okay? Is he okay? Uh, secure objective four, which is why the Dire Avengers didn't move on top of that building. No prisoners, which is kill stuff. I imagine you'll get at least one point for that. Secure objective six, unfortunately, is the one that my rangers are sat on over there. Defend objective one, unfortunately, is the one in that building that my vanguard are sat on. Big Game Hunter, kill something with 10 or more wounds, which I'm pretty sure you're going to do, because that's the two onagers and the knight. And defend objective two, which is this one over here that the Dire Avengers are holding on to. So, with no further ado, you can't cast psychics in vehicles in eighth, can you? Correct. Okay, so with no further ado, let's get some shooting going, and let's hope it's... Um, <laughs> There's still some admic left at the end. Okay, so turn one shooting for the Eldar. Will's making loads of noise. Um, <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Actually, that was quite good, I thought. Um, you've taken a, a lot of my infantry away. The Scorpions took two wounds off the Tech Priest engine seer with their pistols. The Falcon took three wounds off the Knight with its pulsar or pulse laser and nothing else did anything, I think, yeah. none of the other weapons. Yeah. The Dire Avengers in the middle here, well, sort of in the middle, uh, killed one of the oh, infiltrators. Yeah, pretty ineffective one. And then a combination of other shooting around here killed another one. Yeah. The, yes, so the both Guardian squads, the Defenders and the normal Guardians, sorry, the Storm and the Defenders and the Warp Spiders killed the other one. This guy missed the knight, I think. Yes. They were too far away from anything. Yeah. They were too far away from anything. They killed a pile, uh, four of the uh, vanguard in there. The wraith knight maybe killed. Oh no, sorry. I think they killed three, and the wraith knight killed one. Yeah. The wraith, uh, wraith lord. Excuse me, wraith lord. And then coming around this way, oh yes, the warp spiders fired in at the infiltrators. Yeah. Uh, and in combination with the guardians, uh, they killed the second one of those, didn't they? Oh, what did they kill three? No, only two. That's not worth forget where we started. Oh, of course, no, no, no. yes, absolutely. Yeah, Very first cool. thing. So, snipers, apparently Eldar do snipers better than Admic do. Who'd have thought it? Uh, five wounds off call with all of the snipers in there, including two mortal wounds. From the um, yeah. from the normal snipers, which was quite tasty, uh, and then this guy fired at the squad that's in here and killed one of them. So one of the guys with the art rifles has gone. Oh yes, and the scorpion, the uh, swooping hawks down here. There's so many Eldar on the table, I get confused. The swooping hawks down here killed four of my rangers in there. So. Have you got any charges to declare? Oh, yes. All right, okay, cool. So, is it just the scorpions going in? Well, you see... Or are these guys going to try and charge? Because that's a long charge. It is a long charge, but it looks like fun, so... Okay. 
we'll, we'll go for that. Let's do that one first. Okay, so I'm going to overwatch you. Um, you assume I'm coming here? Well, either way, I'm going to overwatch you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go into this this unit with the objective. Okay, cool. So we've got one arc. Well, no, wait a minute. This mm. is the objective. That's the I'm one after. you need, yeah. I'm coming to objective six. Okay, so I'm going to overwatch you with a transuranic arquebus. Ooh. Oh, take that. Oh. Bam. If only I was wearing some form of armor. <laughs> <laughs> this is strength seven. Okay. So two's to wound. Yeah. That is a wound. It's a minus of something big. It's a minus something. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's minus three? Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to get anything, but this one is definitely it's not going to help. Oh, no, that's not going to help. Let me just double check. Transuranic Arquebus. Minus two. Yeah. I beg your pardon, it's minus two. And it's D3 damage, so one of them's dead. Definitely. Okay. And then you have a charge to roll up. Two dice. <laughs> it is. Not you do have a command point. I am. Outside. It is an 11 inch charge. I shall leave it then. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. These things happen. And scorpions. Yes, I'm charging the engine seer. Okay. Is that what he's called? He is an engine seer. He does have some pistols. Good. Some or, po pistols. or possibly something else. I can't actually remember what he has. Unfortunately, this is the first time I've used him, so I can't remember what he's got. He has got... Oh, no, he has a Laz Pistol. Fear scary, the Laz it? Pistol. One shot. No. Missed. Okay, so you're looking for a nine. You I'm do have really a command point. That. Okay. One command point used. Oh, oh no. Okay, so... Uh, so the end of your turn? Yes. Okay, so I've got some leadership tests to make for the morale phase. Uh, so the Rangers down here lost four, um, which puts their leadership, which put their leadership seven. So that is a two. Oh no, that's a four. That's unfortunate. So he's gone too. That guy's dead. The infiltrators in the middle lost two. I think their leadership seven, possibly eight. As you can tell, I've, I'm really good at playing Admech. Uh, so the Vanguard is seven which we'll come to in a second. The infiltrators are seven because the princeps is still alive. So, don't roll a six, Matt. <laughs> six plus two is eight. So he is dead, which is brilliant. So he's gone. And the vanguard in the middle lost four. Their leadership is seven. So roll a one, Matt. Let's see if we can do it the other way around. Oh my God. Uh, six plus four is ten, so that's another three dead. One, two, that uh, means I'm losing a plasma. Three. And these guys lost one, so they can't fail because they've got an alpha in there and he's seven. So how do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm really glad that I haven't charged anything in the middle. Yeah? Because I want you to fire at this chaff yep. whilst all my important stuff gets away scot-free. Okay. Hopefully me yeah. saying that will mean you can actually do it. <laughs> I am easily influenced, I have to say. Uh, what did you score points-wise? Right, that's a good point. Uh, did I kill any units? E yes, one. So I get one for no prisoners. Yep. Did I secure objective four? Yes, that's the one on the building over there. One for that. Six? No. Unfortunately not, that's this one down Defend here. objective one. That's that one. I believe. Oh no, that's two. Where's one? I think you've got one. Oh no, one's here. Yeah, one's there. So no, didn't get that. Big Game Hunter. No. Unfortunately not. And Defend Objective 2. That is there. So, so at the end of my two. turn, you'll get that point. So down. you scored two yep. that turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I scored Defend Objective 3. Because my dudes in the middle, yep. the infiltrators there, are still holding it. So I'm very glad I didn't run away with more of them. Uh, so that's two points to me and two points to you. So the current score, yes. I believe, is four points to two to the Admech. Yes. But at the end of my turn, it's going to become a draw unless I can score some more objectives. Would you like to discard a card? Uh, six is quite easily accessible now that you've got your, scorp uh, your warp spiders here. It is. So is one, I think. One's up there. There's still a squad of Skitari on there. Easily get to one. No, I'm going to keep them all. They're brilliant. Okay, marvellous. So that's the end of turn one. Score now is four points to two to the Admech. Uh, 
I've lost a lot of infantry, and now I just need to make some big holes appear in the Eldar lines. Let's see if we can have some fun and do that. Turn two coming up. Okay, turn two, Admech. Uh, we have defend objective four, which is still over there and not going to happen. Secure objective four, again, unlikely to happen this turn, but I've got a surprise in store, so maybe they'll that will come in. Killer Psyker. I've actually got a plan to do this this turn, um, so I might get lucky. Supremacy, score three objectives. At the moment I'm holding, well, one definitely, possibly two, and I'm hoping if I get lucky in the middle, in the fight phase, I might be able to advance onto the one in the middle, or potentially even up there if I get really lucky. Uh, and defend objective two. And objective two's down there, surrounded by dire avengers, so that's not going to happen this turn at least. Uh, for canticles, I've got reroll morale tests, uh, which is a one, and reroll ones in the fight phase, which is three. And that's the end of movement. So we will. No, it's not, I haven't explained movement yet. I've just talked about the beginning of the turn. So movement phase. The onager. The, the onagers have basically split. So this guy now has a view through the window over there. At the Wave Serpent, and his stubbers can go into either the uh, Swooping Hawks or the Scorpions down here. This guy's just moved into the middle to get uh, his reroll ones bubble for both of the onagers. This one stayed still. He's also got line of sight through to the Wave Serpent if I want to, and his stubbers can go wherever I need them to go. Destroyers and Call moved six inches forwards just to get them more in range of maybe the Snipers or the um, Wave Serpent if I needed to, or the Warp Spiders in the middle. And the Vanguard have moved back to try and take out the Swooping Hawks if necessary, if my stubbers fail. Knights move to just outside of an inch of the Falcon. Uh, I'm hoping I can kill it in shooting and then he can charge whatever's inside it, which is fire. Hmm, Overwatch with fire pikes and things. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, because he's got a bajillion guns as well, so he might be able to... Yes, that's the plan. I'm not changing my mind now. And the Tech Priest Edges here is caught, uh, caught up. So end of the movement phase, he's going to repair one hull point on the knight. Because that's how it goes. You can only repair one to a knight. So he's now on 22 wounds instead of 21. Uh, the infiltrators in the middle have pulled back out of the trees and moved over to the storm guardians in the middle. I'm um, hoping I can at least do some damage to them. Maybe not wipe them out, but we'll see what happens. And my second unit of infiltrators have dropped in here, either to take out the support battery or potentially the dire avengers that are hiding in that building. Um, that would be a better option because it gets me some more points, but it's a much longer charge and their overwatch is quite scary. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm getting way too far ahead of myself. I need to do some shooting first to kill some things. So shooting phase, turn two, Admech coming up. Right, that's the end of the shooting phase in turn two for the... Is this only turn two? <laughs> for the Admech. Um, yes. Uh, right, what happened? So, Stubbers from the two onagers the Foss Phoenix and the Volkite Blaster from the Dominus killed the war the, the Striker Scorpions yep. in a combination of shots for them. Uh, the Laz Pistol on the Tech Priest, in the finest moment of the match so far, put a wound on a Falcon, which was lovely. And then the Onager here, with its Neutron Laser, took the remaining wounds off it and blew up the Falcon. Everybody got out or rather, sorry, destroyed the Falcon, everybody got out, it didn't blow up, and nobody died in the explosion, or in the wreckage, or whatever it's called. And the Neutron Laser here fired through the window over there at the uh, Wave Serpent and did five wounds, I believe? Oh, four wounds. Uh, well, five wounds minus one for your thingamajigger. Yep. Um, these guys in the building there killed a number of the... Warp spider, uh, I, keep, I keep calling everything warp spiders, <laughs> swooping hawks. hawks. There was one left, uh, and so Call fired his solar atomizer at him. And uh, yeah, he's, he's not there anymore. Uh, shadow. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Um, the plasmas in the squad there fired at the warp spiders. Got it right that time. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, killed a couple of them, I think. The radium thingamajigger killed one, maybe, and then the pistols from the infiltrators in the middle killed the, the fourth one, and there's one guy left in the middle. All of the firepower from the destroyers, so the phosphor blasters and the heavy grav, killed all of the scouts. Uh, moving around here, we'll save the wonders of the night shooting phase for last, because that was absolutely amazing. These guys, with their pistols, shot and destroyed the weapon platform that was in the middle there. So the knight, you know, it's just a farce here. He's not that tough. We can shoot him to death and then potentially charge the fire dragons, or over this way, or something. So a melter gun and a heavy flamer did no wounds to the farce here. And then the 12-shot Gatling cannon killed two fire dragons. I think I did seven wounds yeah. with the Gatling cannon. Yeah. Five fives or sixes, one after another, Epic. and then two threes. Now, meant to live. I was, yep, I was very impressed. I was groaning and crying internally, and possibly externally as well, I can't quite tell. But it was great, and that was really cool. So we've got three charges coming up. The knight is going to charge both units of those two, so we'll do... In fact, you want to do Overwatch? Sure. While we're here? Yes, Sorry for the delay, we'll have no, that's a right. shuriken pistol. Uh-huh. Uh, which is... Uh, it'll be sixes followed by sixes, because it's, it's only strength three. Just a one-shot, isn't yeah, it? Kind of yes, thing. yeah. It'll be a one-shot, six followed by six. Nope. Nope. And then three fusion thingamajiggers. And they're, they're all the same, doesn't matter. Yep. Oh, what that's not what I wanted to see. Okay, wounding at strength? Uh, eight. Wounding on fours. D6. Yep. I don't think I get a save. I think the save is only in the shooting phase. Oh no, it's against shooting attacks. So I get an invulnerable save. Okay. Of five, five up. No. So if you roll 2d6 and pick the highest, because I'm within your half range. I'm going to command point the three. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I've got loads of You've still got like nine of them, you know, I think. No. Okay, so that's five wounds. So two. So 22 goes down to 17. Is that a modified profile? No. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> not. Uh, not till 13, I think. Oh, we'll see the, that. Yeah. Yeah, he should be right. Uh, so he's going to charge. So he, in order to get into both units, I think he probably needs a four. Okay, that's fine. So he's going to swing around that way. Yep. And connect with both of those units. He's on 17 wounds. In the middle here, my infiltrators, what's left of that unit, is going to charge the Storm Guardians. These. I don't think you've lost any of them yet, have you? No, these have been the unit of the match so far. They have shot <laughs> the Dire Avengers. Oh, they did actually, yeah. they killed. I think they killed one on their own, didn't they? Again, okay, promoted. Yep. So sixes, I see one. one. Okay. That's uh, worse. Better than fours to wound. No. No. Okay, uh, I'm within an inch, but I am going to roll it because I could potentially sweep round this way and get closer to that objective. Yep. Uh, four, no, five, and two is seven, so I'm going to come round this way, like that. Done, job done. Which is there, which gets me into three inches of that objective, and because... Uh, so hopefully I can do enough damage to them to then maybe swing into these guys on my consolidate. Uh, and that would be two objectives. And now, this is where I need the big money. Big money charges. So these guys are charging the Dire Avengers. Now, which is dangerous. We are supposed to be good at this. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've got the chapter You've two. You've also, I believe, got six uh, shuriken catapults in there because of the little dude in the middle with two. Yeah, but they're... Are they different? They're Avenger. no. no. Oh, right. Oh, oh, Avenger Catapult, sorry, yeah, not so sure. Catapult. Greater range. So yep. we're looking at 12 dice. Yep. And fives and sixes. Yes, correct. That's only 10 dice. That's 12. <laughs> oh, no. It's not terrible. No, that's not. Okay. Four. Uh, strength four. Yeah. So threes to wound. And six is good here. There's one. Oh, no. And, and one, one normal. Okay, so the six requires a six because that's my vulnerable save. Nope, so that's a wound. And the four requires, funnily enough, four. Is that my armor save? No, so one is dead. So I'm going to take 
that guy from the back. Yep. So I don't want to make my charge harder. So you need a 10? Well, no, I don't, because I need a 9 to get to where his base is. Yeah. But then I need to get up to where he is. So you need a 12. So I need a 12. An 11 or a... Uh, yeah, 12 probably, yeah. It's worth it. Okay. Why not? That's why not. Okay, cool. So I lost a dude there and failed the charge, which isn't a problem. So we've got the fight phase now. We've got the guys in the middle. I'm going to be using a stratagem. So I remember to do it now. I'll do it in a second, but I just need to remember. Uh, yes, that's that one. So we've got a knight fighting over there. Should do all right, I think. And we've got those guys in it. That's where I'm slightly worried because you've got a lot of models, but he's just gonna stomp all over everything, I think. So, fight phase, turn two for the Admech. Uh, right, so that's the end of the fight phase um, for Admech, and that's the end of Admech turn two. Uh, so we'll start over here. <laughs> the Knight split his attacks evenly between these two units, put four wounds on the Farseer. Well, it did five wounds, and you passed one of your invulnerable saves. And, uh, oh, sorry, you feel no pains from your Warlord trait. And so he's alive on one wound, which is a little bit annoying, but very cool. And the then he killed four of the fire dragons. I almost called them warp spiders, but I didn't. Uh, and then they didn't do anything in return uh, there. So we'll have a morale test there at the end of, oh, in a minute. Uh, coming around into the middle, I used the... Stratagem Conqueror Doctrina Imperative to get plus one to hit and kill three of the guys in the middle, I believe. Uh, and they did no wounds to me in return. And we saw over there that I failed the charge and lost the guy to Overwatch. So in the morale phase, we've got a test here, which we've spent two command points on, yep. on the Warp Spider, uh, to auto-pass his thingamajigger. Yep. Uh, and you've got a morale test on the Guardians. I don't know what their base leadership is. Well... Let's see if uh, I lost three. Five plus three is eight. Uh, you might be losing another one. They're on seven. Uh, Storm Guardians are seven. Yeah. So one more goes, runs away. Ah, I beg your pardon. Two more run away because you're at minus one leadership for the infiltrators. Their little crazy aura thing. I beg your pardon. I should have mentioned that earlier. Uh, and Fire Dragons. What is his leadership? Because he's the Exarch. Left over in the middle down there. Same, eight. Okay, and you lost four. Oh. <laughs> so he is fine. So, I've used that thingy this turn, so I'll note down that I used a command point. What did I score this turn? Defend objective two. No, because that's still being held by Dire Avengers over there. Supremacy. One. Two. I need to double check the rules as to if it's all units have, uh, all infantry have uh, objective secured or just troops. I need to check that one, so I might have scored that in a sec. You get your two points for defend objective two, because it's two consecutive turns. Yep. So we'll note that down as well. Uh, and I did not get a victory for logic because that bleeding farseer over there saved his last feel no pain wound. Uh, so, but he's going to die next turn, so one way or another. If I have to neutron laser him in the face, he's going to die next turn. Um, so, at the very least, I have scored uh, no points that turn. Uh, at the most, <laughs> depending on what the rule is, I might have scored D3. Soldiers of the Machine God, all troop units get what is essentially objective skilled. Okay, so I don't control that because I think your, your guardian guy's the same distance away from that objective as I am, so I don't secure that. So I don't get supremacy. So no points for me that turn. Uh, and that's the end of turn two for the Admech. So we'll go into Eldar turn two. I am going to ditch defend objective two, I think, is the card I'm getting rid of. Uh, score is four all because you've just scored your two i didn't yeah. score any that turn yeah so you've got two for a de yeah defend that one uh yeah so four points to four i believe um going into eldar turn two so um in the movement phase in turn two for the eldar the farseer has fallen back from combat with the knight 
This guy, this Tech Priest Engine Seer, is actually now the closest target when it comes to smiting from uh, the Farseer. So he might be able to pick up Assassinate off that character. Uh, and the Fire Dragon Exarch has also fallen back uh, away from the Knight as well. Uh, the Dire Avengers advanced up to jump onto that objective and to pour a load of fire into these guys over here. Uh, locked in combat here. The Guardians advanced up, again, pour a load of fire into there. The Wraith Guard disembarked from the Wave Serpent along with the... is he a Spirit Seer? Yes. Along with Spirit Seer, and they've moved up, again, all of the guns into there. Uh, Dark Reapers have moved up. They're now looking at these guys. Dire Avengers, also looking at these guys. Those ones are sat at the back, still let's sat on that objective, because to be honest, I think they're a little bit too far away to have any impact on the rest of the game. Uh, Wave Serpent has done its crazy engine movie thing. Uh, 2d6 advance, around the corner here. Uh, and the Warp Spider jumped out from behind the tree using his 4d6 jumpy thing, uh, and is now closest to call down here, so he's going to be pumping some shots into a call's back. Um, yum, 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 yum. That's about it, I think. Uh, turn to Psychic Phase. Coming up for the Eldar. Okay, Psychic Phase turn two for the Eldar. That was pretty good, actually. Um, the Farseer over here casts Smite, and the Engine Seer was the closest. Did two mortal wounds, so he was dead, which is... A shame, but that's assassinate for you, which is good. That's another point. And then he did Doom, I believe is the spell, or the power, where everyone is now re-rolling wounds against Call in the middle there, which is um, going to be interesting to see if he can survive that. And then coming around here, the Spirit Seer cast uh, Drain, isn't it? Yes. It's the one he did. Uh, on the infiltrators in the middle, which means they are minus one to hit in combat. Uh, sorry, minus one to their rolls to hit in combat. Uh, so that's that. We're going to shooting now for the Eldar in turn two. And judging by the way everything's lined up, I don't think that group of models down there is going to be there very, very much longer. And probably they're not going to be either, those infiltrators over there, depending on obviously where the Dark Reapers shoot, but there's also a ton of shots coming out of those Dire Avengers. So we shall see. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's currently a draw, I believe. Four points to four. You've got Assassinate, so it will be five points to four in favour of you. It'd be interesting to see where this game goes, actually. So let's get some shooting done uh, in turn two for the other. Okay, that's the end of the shooting phase in... <laughs> Turn two. Uh, I laugh every time because it's just ridiculous. Turn two for the Eldar end of shooting phase. So, pistols in combat. We'll start in the middle where I'm looking at the moment. One wound to a Rust Stalker. Uh, these guys fired at the destroyers who were down there. I think they killed one. Yep. Uh, and put a wound on another one. The Dire Avengers killed the wounded one, and then there was one guy left. Wraith Lord put a wound on one. Yep. This guy did another wound to him. Yeah, didn't I think. quite kill him. Didn't quite kill him. And then fired his Serpent Shield into the Vanguard in there and killed two of them with the mortal wounds. This guy fired a call but didn't do anything, even with Doom uh, in play, <laughs> well, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Nightspear fired his sniper rifle down, took a wound off call. Uh, Dark Reapers put a couple of wounds on the destroyers, I think, and then the um, Exarch killed one yes. or possibly two, and the Dire Avengers killed the other three. Yeah. No, the other two, because one died to Overwatch last turn. Um, and then... <laughs> Because there was still a, dist a pesky destroyer left there with a, a, like a wound or possibly two left over. We had five uh, Wraith Cannons, yep. I think. Yep. Three hit, three wound, three failed save, three D6 damage. I just picked him up and took him <laughs> off. Um, so that's all the destroyers gone. So that's the end of the shooting phase. I think I've covered everything off because those two guys over there couldn't shoot because they fell back. Uh, looking around the table, 
that's everything. Have you got any charges to declare, or are we just going to go into the combat in the middle? We are going to do some charges, yeah. Okay. Uh, the Where are we going? The going in. To call? Yep. Yep. Anybody else going to risk it? Watch for that. Oh, no, we have to declare all the first. Um, yeah. We'll do the Wraith Guard yeah. into call. Oh, okay. Spirit Seer into call. Okay. The Dire Avengers into those. Into the Vanguard down here. The middle. The uh, Wraith Lord into these Rust guys. Uh, yeah, into the Infiltrators. Infiltrators. Uh, that's probably enough. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, let's do some Overwatch. So we'll start with the first charge you declared, call, uh, Warp Spider into Call. Yep. So, D3 shots. Three. He's on sixes. Damn it. Okay. Uh, which means you, you can't fail that. Yep. You're in. Great. Uh, so now you just need to roll all of them. The only other Overwatch we've got is here. So if you want to roll these two... Um, to well, see if you get in, and then we'll sort the Overwatch and the charge out for that. Okay. So, where, which one do you first? first. Okie dokie. Uh, Ten. What's that? A six and a four. That is going to be in. Ten inches, because you were within twelve. Great. That's fine. And a Wraith Knight, Wraith mm. Guard. Uh, Snake Eyes! Okay. Who no. knew? <laughs> <laughs> so, he is going to move in there. And then. going to be brief. <laughs> And then we've got the combat here. So let's do two plasma calibers. Oops. First of all, an overwatch. Uh, one hit, which is nice. Wounding on twos. Sorry, that is a six. That's a little bit shiny. Wounding on twos because it's strength seven against toughness three. That is a wound at minus three. Which is enough. He's got three up. Okay, so six, six up. Yeah. We can do it. No. Oh no. Okay, so one down. And then we've got the radium carbine from the alpha. It's three shots, that's a hit. This is wounding on fours because it's strength three and their toughness three. No wounds. Okay, so just your charge in there then. Uh, eight. eight. I would say that'll probably get you to within an inch. If, if it's not, I'll. You do have a command point, you the last one. So, yeah, you're within nine inches of them. So that's fine. Eight will get you within an inch. Oh, and the Wraith Lord as well. You need to want, need to roll for him. Do you... I have to come around the corner. You now. will do, yes. I don't get any Overwatch because I'm already locked in combat. That's a two and a three, five. No, because you've got to go round. But you can re-roll the two. Yeah, why not? What are these command points for? Exactly. Last one. And to be honest, you won't be able to spend it next turn anyway because everything goes more expensive. Still a two. Okie dokie. So, that's the... So now we've got the fight phase coming up. We've got Call here. We've got the Vanguard and the Dire Avengers. Uh, there, sorry, Call against the uh, Spirit Seer and Warp Spider. And then we've got the fight in the middle there with the Guardian Defenders and... Nope, Guardian, Storm Guardians. Yep. Something about Guardians. Uh, and the um, Infiltrators. Okay, so that's the end of the turn uh, two for uh, Eldar. Uh, we've done the end of the fight phase now. Um, in the middle here, um, it was equal actually. I think we killed one, one apiece, yep. I believe. So there's a morale test. Oh no, neither of us need to take that because we can't... Fail. You are seven. You lost one. Okay. And minus one for yeah. the infiltrator. Yeah. So you could possibly fail on that one. Um, so if you roll a six, one of them runs away, basically. Five. Okay, no, you're fine. Down here, uh, I lost a Vanguard guy. You didn't lose any. I lost one. Oh, one apiece. Can't fail that either, because we're both the same. Uh, both seven. We lost one. And here, the uh, oh. Spirit Seer, wait, Wraith, Ghost Speaker, Spirit Seer, yeah. Spirit Seer uh, put two wounds on Call with his nasty stick of horribleness, and then Call killed the um, Warp, spider. Warp Spider with the Mechadendrite Hive and put two wounds on the Spirit Seer with his axe. So that was all of that. Points-wise, we got Assassinate for the guy in the Psychic Phase, so that's another point. I think it's only the one point for that, isn't it? Yep. 
um, and secure objective five in the center with those guardians on that one. So the score now, looking over there, is six points to four in the favor of the Eldar. Um, I don't like conceding. I'm sort of tempted to, but at the same time, we've just had a brief discussion about this before we started filming. I've got two completely fully functional onagers over there. A mostly alive knight. And cool. Yeah, but he's only... Well, actually, he gets D3 wounds back in a minute. So... <laughs> yeah, he might be alright, but then, again, you've got a load of stuff across the table. Admittedly, it's mostly infantry and little-ish things, but it's still a bajillion shots. Yeah. And there's still a fully functioning Wraith, no, uh, Wraith Lord and all of these chaps. Still two full squads of Dire Avengers over there. We'll see what happens. I don't want to... Um... Oh, I owe you a morale test over there. Oh, okay, yeah. Because you killed all of them in your shooting phase. Uh, they are leadership seven, is the Princeps, and I lost three guys. Seven... It's four. Or four plus three, rather. Seven. So he's fine. Um, yes, we're going to add turn three. While I'm thinking about it, we'll do canticles. A two and a six. So the two... Well, six will stick with what it is. Um, and the two, I think, will go to a three, which I think is the reroll ones in the fight phase, because it seems to be mostly devolving into fights now anyway. Um, so we'll stick with those two. We'll make that a three, and we'll stick with the six. Uh, and we'll go into Admech turn three. Okay, so we did a combined turn three for the Admech because there's not all that much left on the table, so it was relatively quick to just progress its way through. Um, what happened? The Dominus here fired his Volkite Blaster at the Farseer and killed him. The Onager fired at the Wraith Guard, I think, yes, and killed two. Yes, he did. This one fired somewhere else. Wave at the serpent. Wave Serpent, and Everything. did some wounds, or did it not do any wounds? I don't think we've done that one yet. Have we not? I think we did. We definitely did. He's lost nothing extra. He must have completely fluffed everything then. We haven't done it yet. Should you do... No, we definitely did. I've, de I've definitely rolled for both onagers. Oh. He must have just fluffed it. Um, Call beat the spirits here yes. in combat. Yeah, sliced uh, him in half. Chopped him into bits with his axe. Uh, these guys killed one. The Vanguard killed one of the Dire Avengers, yeah, or was that last one, turn? One piece. Uh, no, you killed, you killed yours in your turn. Oh, okay. It was not in my turn. Uh, over here, in the middle... Oh, uh, the Knight killed the... Um, Fire Dragon Exarch. Fire Dragon Exarch. Ah, that was what happened. The Knight with his Avenger Cannon killed the two Wraith Guard. The Onagers put wounds on the Wraith Lord. Yes. Um, so he's down to three left, I believe. Lost yes. seven. Yes. Uh, in the middle of the table, the um, infiltrator killed the remaining storm guardians. Killed three, I think, with shooting, and the, or two with shooting, and then the other last one in combat consolidated into that squad of s normal guardians. Uh, they didn't do any damage to him in the fight. Over here, my little chap down there made it into combat, killed, well, did two wounds, so we decided to put it on the Exarch, yes. um, because it seemed to make most sense to, to not lose more models, um, and then, unfortunately, rolled a six in the morale phase and one more ran away anyway, um, because of the neurostatic aura, I think it's called. So that was, considering there's not many models left, yes, there are some quite big ones, but that was a surprisingly effective turn, I think, yeah. considering what was left on the table. These infiltrators have done really yeah, well. Yeah, they're surprisingly good, considering they're only toughness three with a four-up save. Yeah. They're surprisingly resilient, actually. Uh, victory for logic is a point I just got, because I killed a Psyker. Yep. I actually killed two Psykers, but it doesn't make any difference, unfortunately, for quantity. And I think I've got supremacy. I don't have supremacy, because I didn't move them. They've got an objective. They're too far away. It's on the top floor, and they're on the ground. Oh, sorry. Oh. And they're on the ground floor. I forgot to move them, so I don't get supremacy. <laughs> you good. Because I've got one here, one here, 
You've got three. And I would no, because they're they're not they're six inches away from it. Yeah. So they're not close enough to it. Um, so I scored one for a victory for logic and got warlord kill with the farseer in the corner. Um, so that's another two points for me, which puts us equal six to piece. <laughs> but if the game were to end now, you've got line breaker. I haven't. So if the game were to end right now, you'd be winning seven six. However, if you can get Warlord, yeah. that'd be 8-6 at the end of the turn, yeah. um, plus whatever cards you happen to get as well. Yes. So, let's do it. Okay. Turn 3 order. Well, it's up to you. If you... Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we have just done a combined turn 3 for the Elder. So, movement-wise, um, the Wave Serpent jumps up here to grab onto Objective 6 to get a point for uh, securing it. Wraith Lord moved forwards. Dark Reapers moved forwards. Those guys were locked in combat. The Wraith Guard moved up. They were stuck in combat, the Dire Avengers there. Nice little party ring going on around that bit. And there was a combat over in that building over there. Uh, there wasn't any psychic phase this turn. Um, shooting wise, I think Illic took a wound off call, possibly yeah. two, I can't remember. These guys didn't do anything. No. I don't think because I got I got very lucky with saves um, and one of them actually was not the closest target for call. Um, this guy killed the wave serpent killed one of the remaining vanguard in there, uh, and the dark reapers put another wound on call. Yes, I think something like that. Yeah. Uh, in the fight phase, one apiece died in that combat with the dark uh, dire avengers and the vanguard. Uh, no wounds to call from the punchy fists, but I did two wounds back. Yep. Um, you killed my infiltrator in the middle before I had a chance to swing. Finally. Yeah, it's about time to. He's been kicking around since turn one. Having said that, it's only turn three, but... Uh, but then I punched you back with my infiltrator and killed the remaining three Dire Avengers in there. Um, so, you scored secure objective six for that one. Yep. Uh, and we're going to be giving line breaker as well, uh, even though technically it doesn't matter because I it's currently twenty five past one in the morning, uh, and as much fun as this has been, I've very much enjoyed it. It's twenty past one in the morning. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to concede this because I don't think I've got enough models left to be chasing around the board for objectives. All my stuff's really slow, with the exception of the knight. Um, I could score a couple of points with, because I've still got my objective four cards, so with the infiltrator over there, I could score a couple of points. Call's probably going to die from either getting shot or punched to death by the Wraith Guard, and then there's a Wraith Lord coming after him as well. Yeah. Um, and the Dark Reapers. And the Dark Reapers, of and course. Yeah. And Illic, and you've got a full squad of guardians in the middle. Yes, they're just guardians, yeah. but that's a still a, still a full squad in the middle with a bright lance. Shots, exactly, yeah. and a full squad of dire avengers over here. Um, so officially, the final score was eight points to six, I believe, in the favour of the elder. Um, but yes, we're going to call that a victory to the viewer. I believe oh. is what's going to be there. So. Is there anything you would have done differently? No, uh, I, and I think the, the people of the match for me were the Guardian Defenders. Mm, the, Guardian, the, the Storm, Storm Squad, Guardians, yeah. They were really good, so cheap. Yeah, yeah, and surprisingly punchy. Yeah. Well, I mean, the first turn, they outshot a yeah. Dire Avenger Squad. <laughs> yeah. and they had the re rolls of hits with the Elgari Blade. They did, yes. In combat, they were surprisingly good. Um, Yes, no, I agree. I think they were they were great. Um, for me... Uh, cool, surely. Well, yeah. I th oh, he, actually, didn't, he no. didn't really do much. This, this little... It's either that infiltrator princeps over there or the one that held you up in the middle of the board yeah. for a couple of turns. Yeah. One of, I think it's going to have to go to the infiltrators. Because um, the knight didn't really do all that much. Well, you say that. He took out you know, over 10% of my force. Uh, all he killed was the far... Uh, Farseer, the... Volcan. He didn't kill the Farseer. I mean, he did He did a number of wounds to the Farseer, but he, kill, he killed the Fire Dragons and the Falcon. Yeah. Um, on his own. That's a lot of points. It's, yeah, it's yeah. 
Probably not as much as he, he is, though. He's getting all 500 points. Um, the onagers were onagers. They did what they were supposed to do. Um, yeah, no, I, I had really good fun. I hope you did too. Me too, that was brilliant. And um, thank you very much for coming along. That was really good. Thanks for having me. Oh, very welcome. You're always welcome back. And uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more of this lovely old army in the future. Maybe a little bit earlier in the day. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, anywho, victory for the viewer. Um, so Arthur will be putting up a snazzy graphic for that. And thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And we will catch you in the next one.